Captain John Price is the main character and the most iconic war hero of the Call of Duty Modern Warfare series. Captain Price has spent most of his career fighting in the shadows. He's been shot, captured, abandoned, blown up, locked up, tortured, and left for dead. Captain Price is the veteran of military operations in nearly every conflict zone of the world. Most Call of Duty players who enjoyed the story of the Modern Warfare series still remember vividly the most epic moments of the game were all shared with Captain Price. Apart from his mastery of close quarter combat, stealth assassination, and sniper techniques, this badass British SAS soldier is also a master strategist in warfare. And I find that most videos about Captain Price overlooked the psychological aspect of Captain Price. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about Captain Price's top 5 principles on mentality of war. Before we start, if you like the idea of video game heroes mixed with real life lessons, be sure to subscribe to my channel. We get dirty, and the world stays clean. That's the mission. Captain Price is an elite soldier who specializes on unconventional warfare. He has the ability to intimidate and keep his enemies in terror because he is highly unpredictable and unrestrained. He makes decisions like a blitzkrieg campaign, with speed, boldness, and audacity. No one seems to understand his method in the madness until he gets the result that he wanted. Captain Price is a cut to the chase and target focused fighter who despises rigid rules and bureaucratic procedures. He will sometimes make work moves and unholy alliances in the name of getting the job done, even disobeying his orders. Makarov, you ever hear the old saying, the enemy of my enemy is my friend? Christ, one day you're going to find that cuts both ways. During the events of Modern Warfare 2, after being rescued by Task Force 141 along with Soap McTavish, Price joins the unit in the mission to hunt down Macron. However, Price decides that the war still waging in the United States needs to end before they focus on Macron. He went against the order of General Shepard, who insisted Macron to be their top priority. Captain Price acts as a specialist in a raid on the Russian naval base, seemingly to destroy a submarine, only to launch a nuclear missile towards the United States with the purpose of unleashing a massive EMP above the eastern coast of the United States. The missile detonation in outer space disrupts all military equipments during the Battle of Washington, stopping the war and saves the lives of countless people. According to Robert Green, in his 33 Strategies of War, a general fighting a war must constantly search for an advantage over the opponent. The greatest advantage comes from the element of surprise from hitting enemies with strategies that are novel, completely unconventional, and outside the experience. Over time, strategies applied in war become more and more extreme, as moral and ethical codes that governed warfare for centuries have become loosened. Captain Price is wise enough to understand that the rules of engagement has changed. The rules have changed. There's a fine line between right and wrong. And somewhere, in the shadows, he'll send us in to find it. The classic direct use of force and strength does not work, so he transitioned into more indirect and deceptive methods to fight the bad guys, who are also extremely slippery and devious themselves, to fight fire with fire at the cost of going dirty himself. To try to stay clean out of a sense of morality is to risk defeat. You want to put out an old fire, sir? You set off a bigger explosion right next to it. it sucks away the oxygen, snuffs the flame. Price, you've been locked away too long. Better get your mind right, son. Shepard, are you willing to do what is necessary to win? Always. We got ourselves a pretty big fire. Gonna need a huge bang. In one of my favorite missions ever in a Call of Duty game, All Geared It Up, we get to play as Captain Price. The mission takes place in 1996, 15 years before the events of Call of Duty 4. You're in Pripyat, Chernobyl, following your mentor, Captain McMillan, on a covert operation to assassinate nuclear arms dealer Imran Sakaya. This mission is so memorable and meaningful because we get to see how Captain McMillan took Price under his wing as a mentor and gave him the field experience to become the badass Captain Price as we now know him to be. Just like years later, Captain Price did exactly the same thing to Soap McTavish. We could see the mentor and protege relationship between Price and Soap 
grows deep as the story progresses. Captain Price invested more and more heart and effort into soap during their deployment and even saving the ass of soap. In Operation Kingfish, just before Modern Warfare 2, Captain Price was taken captive by a group of Russian soldiers. Soap was extremely devastated that he could not help his mentor. At the beginning of Modern Warfare 2, we could clearly see the influence of Captain Price on Soap. Now Soap McTavish has been promoted to Captain McTavish, overlooking a new soldier, Gary Roach Sanderson. He's looking tougher and smoking a cigar just like Captain Price. Soap also saved Roach from falling off the cliff just like Price did for Soap. Now it is Soap's turn to infiltrate the Russian Gulag with Task Force 141 to free Captain Price. As soon as he realizes the prisoner was Price, the first thing that he does is give him back his 1911, the exact same pistol that Price led to him at the end of Call of Duty 4. This special pistol symbolizes the loyalty between Captain Price and Soap's close relationship. As written by Robert Greene in Mastery, the mentor and protege relationship is the most efficient form of learning. Life is a short journey. We only have so much time and energy to expand. The white mentors know where to focus your attention and how to challenge you. Their knowledge and experience become yours. They provide immediate and realistic feedback in the most upfront manner so you can learn more quickly. Your goal is to find the white right mentor, eventually surpassing your mentor, then pass on your acquired knowledge and experience to others. Just like Price eventually surpassed Captain McMillan and took Soap under his wing. When we first encountered Captain Price in the original Call of Duty 4, we were playing as the new recruit, Soap McTavish. Captain Price's first words to Soap already revealed his hostility and aggressiveness inherent in his personality. Right. What the hell kind of name is Soap, eh? How a muppet like you pass selection? Although Captain Price has shown his noble and caring side as his friendship with Soap grows, Price is also known to be ruthless towards his enemies. He would even go past the fine line between right and wrong, executing his enemies point blank without the blink of an eye during his iconic interrogation scenes. You might think that Captain Price's aggressiveness and ruthlessness towards his enemies are just a typical plot of a cliched video game character and has nothing to do with our everyday lives. But this cannot be further from the truth. As Robert Greene wrote, as in war, so in life. Our life is literally an endless battle and conflict like a military campaign. Without a clear idea of our enemies, we cannot effectively channel our aggressive impulses that are hidden deep within the shadows of our psyche. Denying and repressing those aggressive emotions would only turn into a neurosis and makes you lose your guts for battle. In our social world that we live in right now, people are rarely directly hostile like Captain Price. So the notion of the enemy has changed. Unlike any Call of Duty game, we never point guns and shoot at each other in the social world. But there are plenty of opponents who are competitive, who have a secret desire to destroy you, who want to see you fail, who are political and indirect in their attacks. So we must identify our enemies in order to have room to maneuver. Do not be the naive victim who is constantly reacting and retreating from the enemy. Embrace your inner aggressiveness, absorb the power and face your enemy. This enemy could also be yourself, representing your own weaknesses and self-sabotaging habits. Once you have them in your sight, inwardly declare war. The enemy, your opposite, fills you with a powerful sense of purpose and direction. So instead of shrinking from the idea of having enemies, follow the stance of Captain Price towards Macro. Show no mercy and no compromise. With some enemies, you must destroy and crush them totally. Embarking on this war path is the best Therapy. There's a simplicity to war. Attacking is the only secret. Dare, and the world yields. Captain Price made one of the most epic speech about mortality in video game history. I won't spoil it, so I'll just let you enjoy. 
The healthy human mind doesn't wake up in the morning thinking this is its last day on Earth. But I think that's a luxury, not a curse. To know you're close to the end is a kind of freedom. Good time to take inventory. Outgunned, outnumbered, out of our minds on a suicide mission. But the sand and rocks here, stained with thousands of years of warfare, they will remember us for this. Because out of all our vast array of nightmares, this is the one we choose for ourselves. We go forward like a breath exhaled from the earth, with vigor in our hearts and one goal in sight. We will. Captain Price is right. It is human nature for us to fear death, and most normal people would unconsciously avoid the thought of death at all costs. But in fact, death is the single most unescapable truth. That should be our wake-up call every day. In the Stoic philosophy, there is a practice called memento mori to remind oneself regularly that one day you will die. Just like countless great people before us, who are already long forgotten, this mental exercise might seem scary and depressing at first. But as Captain Price stated, to know you are close to the end is a kind of freedom. Knowing and accepting your inevitable death frees up a tremendous amount of mental space. Because you will no longer waste time and energy getting caught up on the petty things and distractions or take anything too seriously. So let us adopt this cool mentality of Captain Price and pretend to be a soldier ready for deployment, not knowing if we return or not. Today might really be our last day on Earth. Now is good time to take inventory. If death is truly the end, what is there exactly to fear? Everything from your fears to your pain and worries and remaining wishes will perish with you. As frightening as death might seem, remember, it contains within it the end of fear. Captain Price believes that the duty of every soldier is to fight for the greater good. He has an iron will and strong determination, always fighting for what's right. But he also knows what's right isn't always what you're fighting for. The duty of every soldier is to protect the innocent, and sometimes that means preserving the lie of good and evil. That war isn't just natural selection played out on a grand scale. Throughout decades of bloodshed and relentless fighting in countless wars and conflicts over every war zone around the world, Captain Price's definition of morality and the fine line between right and wrong are obscured. You draw the line wherever you need it, soldier. At the end of the day, someone has to make the enemy scared of the dark. We get dirty and the world stays clean. That's the mission. But he would not allow himself to get soft or indecisive, still fighting courageously one Call of Duty campaign after another, as if he only feels truly alive on the battlefield. Captain Price never shirked his responsibility in Call of Duty, no matter if he's freezing or hot, stabbed or shot, tortured or blown up, not even when he's dying. He even sees dying as one of his duties of life and already prepared to die with his single-minded goal of killing Shepard and Macron, whatever the cost. His warrior spirit and selfless sacrifice is what makes the Call of Duty Modern Warfare series so awesome. In every one of our lives, we are also assigned a calling, a purpose, a call of duty. That's the inner voice that guides you to move forward, the intuitive feel in your gut that steers you towards the right path in life. Your Call of Duty won't be easy, but it is critical to become who you're meant to be. Now do you remember who you are, what you were meant to do? It's also usually the harder choice, but we must accept our call of duty and fight for the greater good. How quickly they forget that all it takes to change the course of history is the will of a single man. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed Captain Price's top 5 principles and mentality of war. If you find this video useful, please smash that like button below and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Comment down below which video game hero you would like to see in the future. Have fun with the new Call of Duty Cold War. I'll see you in the next video.